Good afternoon, students. How are you all, beta? Hope you all are enjoying your summer vacations with your family, right? Okay, so today we are going to study chapter the cop and the anthem from your supplementary reader, An Alien Hand, by O. Henry. Who's the writer of the chapter? O. Henry. Let's find out what O. Henry has written in this chapter for us. Let's check out the glossary first. You can write down these keywords in your notebook. First one here comes Southern skies. Southern skies is warm places. Southern skies are warm places. Blackwell's Island is the name of a prison, right? So Blackwell's Island is the name of a prison. If Soapy went to prison, the government would look after his food and stay. Cop. Cop is policeman. In American English, we call policeman cop. Spirit, energy, avenue, a broad street, the name of a broad street, brighter, radiant, hurried, down in a rush, worthless, having no importance, right? So these were few words which are important in our chapter. First one is Southern Sky. This you must know. Blackwell Island. Again, you must know them. That's the name of a prison. Then cop. We call policemen. Spirit is energy. Avenue, a broad street. Brighter is radiant. Hurried down in a rush and finally worthless having no importance. Now let's check out the synopsis of this chapter. Soapy. Soapy is the main character of this story. So Soapy wants to go to prison because he is homeless because he is homeless and a harsh winter is coming. His efforts to get arrested are funny. So he is making efforts to get arrested, right? And they are quite funny and painful too, but never successful. But what happens when Soapy finds courage to change himself, right? So, dear children, you must have heard the saying that be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. Okay, I am repeating the saying again. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. Means the main character of this story is the epitome of that saying. We all think we want or need something. We sometimes even get desperate for it, isn't it? And sometimes though, it is exactly what we never wanted. In this chapter, the cop and the anthem, Sophie too thinks the best thing for him is to be arrested. Does he ever get what he wants? Or is it really what he wants? Fine, this is about a chapter. Let's find out in the chapter. That does he ever get what he wants? Let's read out the chapter. Here I have managed this comic pictures for you to make it quite interesting. Hope you will like it. So Soapy moved restlessly on his seat in Madison Square. Right? It's the name of the place. There are certain signs to show that winter is coming. Birds begin to fly south. People want new warm coats. And Soapy moves restlessly on his seat in the park. 
when you see these signs you know that winter is near so what are the signs of the winter that winter is coming birds begin to fly south people want new warm coats and so he moved restlessly why on his seat in the park because he was not having warm coat when he uh, when you see these signs you know that winter is near a dead leaf look at the dead leaf a dead leaf fell at sopi's feet that was a special sign for him that winter was coming it was time for all who lived in madison square to prepare fine so sopi while sitting on his seat in madison square observes the signs of winter approaching and birds begin to fly towards south people begin to buy new warm coats and so on and here a dead leaf fell at sopi's feet this was a special sign for sopi which indicated the onset of winter and sopi became restless he was trying uh, to think of ways to sustain himself through the harsh season through this winter season sopi now realized that fact the time had come he had to find some way to take care of himself during the cold weather of course this was a harsh time when he had to take care of himself and therefore he moved restlessly on his seat where is his seat this is his seat so sopi's hopes for the winter were not very high he was not thinking of sailing away on a ship he was not thinking of southern skies right so his hopes were not very high and what was he thinking of or of the bay of naples these were not his thinking three months in the prison of blackwell this was his hope three months on the prison of blackwell's island was what he wanted three months of food and a bed every night so food every day and bed every night this was his hope so unlike other people some of whom thought of sailing away on a ship or some other who thought of southern skies or the bay of naples to evade winter or sopi he only wished to get to blackwell's island 3 months in the prison on blackwell island that would take care of food and bed for the next 3 months right okay so 3 months safe from the cold north wind and safe from copes this is what sopi wanted most in the world for years blackwell's island had been his winter home richard new york's made their plans to go to florida or to the shore of the mediterranean sea each winter and sopi made his small plans for going to the island which island which one blackwell's island right and now the time had come three big newspapers some under his coat and some over his legs time has come is winter ha- winter is approaching he had not kept him sorry three big newspaper some under his coat and some over his legs had not kept him warm during the night in the park so it was difficult to survive only with these th- things only some over his leg newspaper so sopi was thinking of the island again which island blackwell's island there were places in the city he could go and ask for food and bed these would be given to him he could move from one building to another he would be taken care of through the winter but he liked blackwell's island better what was the reason 
Sopi's spirit was proud if he went to any of these places. There were certain things he had to do. In one way or another, he would have to pay for what they gave him. They would not ask him for money, but they would uh, make him wash his whole body. So this was difficult for Sopi. They would make him answer questions. They would want to know everything about his life. So this was quite difficult for Sopi as he knew that there were places he could go to where he would get food and bed. But in exchange for these things, he would have to do certain tasks and pay for what he was getting. He would have to answer questions about his life and he did not like this. No prison was better than that. The prison had rules that he would have to follow. But in prison, a gentleman's own life was still his own life. Sopi, having decided to go to the island, at once began to move towards his desire. So he would rather prefer the prison on Blackwell's Island. There were rules in the prison, but he could live there like a free man. That was his desire. That was his only hope or desire. Right? Though he wanted to spend his uh, winter in prison, but still he loved his on his personal freedom. Okay, let's find out what he is doing here. There were many easy ways of doing this. The most pleasant way was to go and have a good dinner at some fine restaurant. Then he would say that he had no money to pay. And then a cop would be called. It would all be done very quietly. The cop would arrest him. He would be taken to a judge and the judge would do the arrest and finally he will reach to his destination. So deciding this, Sopi left his seat and walked slowly out of Madison Square to the place where the great street called Broadway and Fifth Avenue meet. He went across this wide space and started north on broadway he stopped at a large and brightly lighted restaurant this was where the best food and the best people in the best clothes appeared everything right so so people believed that above his legs he looked all right his face was clean his coat was good enough and if he could get to a table he believed that success would be so the very first plan that Sopi executed in order to be caught by the police and put into the prison was to go to a restaurant and have a lavish dinner and then later tell the restaurant people that he had no money and this would result in cops being called and then he would be put into the jail. The part of him that would be seen above the table would look all right. The waiter would bring him what he asked for. He began thinking of what he would like to eat. In his mind, he could see the whole dinner. The cost would not be too high. He did not want the restaurant people to feel any real anger. But the dinner would leave him filled and happy for the journey to his winter home. You cannot come in here, but as Sopi put his foot inside the restaurant door, the head waiter saw his broken old shoes. So surprisingly, he stopped him and he was having torn clothes that covered his legs. So his strong and ready hands turned Sopi around and moved him quietly and quickly outside again. So this plan fails as the guard at the restaurant seeing his shabby clothes and shoes did not allow him to enter. 
after the failure of this first trick Sophie decided to try another trick so Sophie turned off Broadway it seemed that the most easy way to the island was not to be his he must think of some other way of getting there at a corner of 6th Avenue was a shop with a white glass window bright with electric lights and Soapy, look at Soapy here, what he is having in his hand? A stone. So Soapy picked up a big stone and threw it through the glass. People came running around the corner. A cop was the first among them. So Soapy stood still and he smiled when he saw the cop. He was friendly and happy. What he wanted was coming towards him. So he was very much happy with that, right? So he throws stones at a white glass window shop at a corner of 6th Avenue. However, in an expectation to be arrested, so he kept standing right there. Where's the man that did that? Don't you think? I might have done it. This is Soapy. But the cop's mind would not consider Soapy. Men who break window do not stop there to talk to cops. They run away as fast as they can. And the cops saw men further along the street running and ran after him. Look at here, the man is running. And Soapy, sick at heart, walked slowly away he had failed two times now a cop and other people came running towards the shop but refused to believe that soapy could do could be the person right who would have stoned the shop why they thought that it's impossible that the culprit would uh, wait near the shop after having thrown stones so therefore the cop ran after a man who was running further in the street and so be second trick two failed get busy and call a cop and don't keep a gentleman waiting what is he doing here let's find out across the street was another restaurant it was not so fine as the one on broadway the people who went there were not too rich its food was not so good into this, Soapy took his old shoes and his torn clothes and no one stopped him. He sat down at a table and was soon eating a big dinner. When he had finished, he said that he had no money. And what was waiter's reply at that? No cop for you. We have a better idea for you. So here Soapy has decided to go to a medical restaurant that would allow him to enter despite his shabby clothes and shoes. People who went there were not so rich. So Soapy easily entered the restaurant and ordered a big dinner. And having had the dinner, Soapy told the waiter that he had no money and expected the waiter to call the cops. So what he did then? He called another waiter. See, the two waiters threw Soapy upon his left. So he called another waiter. The two waiters threw Soapy upon his left ear on the hard street outside. He stood up slowly on part at a time and beat the dust from his clothes. Prison seemed only a happy dream. The island seemed very far away, right? So again, the waiter only called another waiter and both of them threw Soapy out of the restaurant. Again, his plan canceled here. So, it's so poor about her, Soapy. A cop who was standing near laughed and walked away. Soapy started moving again. When he stopped, 
he was near several theatres. In this part of city, streets are brighter and hearts are more joyful than in other parts. Women and men in rich warm clothes moved happily in the winter air. But a sudden fear caught Sopi and he felt no cope was going to arrest him. Right? So after being thrown out of the second restaurant, Sopi walked a little and came near a place which had several theatres. Right? And children in that part of the city, he saw rich people in warm clothes, happily moving around the city and enjoying in win winter. So Sopi's heart grew uh, miserable and he was thinking that the cop won't arrest him and he would have neither food nor bed to sustain himself during the winters. Then he came to another cop standing in front of a big theater. He thought of something else to try. He began to shout as if he had too much to drink. His voice was as loud as he could make it. He danced. He cried out. So again, he is trying to do something different that the cop would arrest him. And the cop turned his back to Soppy. But alas, he turned his back. It's one of those college boys. Uh, he won't hurt anything we have ordered to let them shout so again his plan failed here so he was quiet was no cop going to touch him he began to think of the island as if it were as far away as a star he pulled his thin coat around him the wind was very cold by this time then he saw a man in a shop buying a newspaper. The man's umbrella stood beside the door. So Sopi stepped inside the shop, took the umbrella and walked slowly away. The man followed him quickly. My umbrella? Oh, is it? Why don't you call a cop? I took it, your umbrella. Why don't you call a cop? There is one standing at the corner. So again, the Sopi is trying something else here, right? He is asking the man to call the cop to catch him. But though he tries, when the man questions Sopi, he tells the man to call the cop because he is taking the umbrella. But the man backs down saying he had found it earlier. See? That's, you know, how these things happen. If that's your umbrella, I'm very sorry. I found it this morning in a restaurant. If you say it, it's your, I hope you will. So again, his plan failed here. The umbrella man hurried away. The cop helped a lady across the street and so he walked east. He threw the umbrella as fast as he could through it. He talked to himself about cops and what he thought of them because he wished to be arrested but they seemed to be believed that he was like a king who could do no wrong so at last sopi came to one of the quiet streets on the side of the street all his plan has failed so finally he come to one of the quiet street on the side of the city he turned there and began to walk south towards Madison Square. He was going home, although home was only a seat in a park. His home was a seat in a park. But at a very quiet corner, Sophie stopped. Here was his old childhood home. Through one window, he could see a soft light shining that had been his living room where he had spent many happy, peaceful moments. Sweet music came to Sopi's ear and he seemed to told him there. The moon was above, peaceful and bright. Fine. So children, he was feeling miserable. 
who so be and he decided to go to home which was nothing but a seat in the park so while walking down to medicine square he stopped in a corner where his childhood home was situated right so he was overwhelmed with his childhood memories at that juncture he experienced a change in his behavior what change he experienced there were few people uh, passing he could hear birds high above him and the music that came from the room held so be there for he had known it well long ago in those days his life contained such things as mothers and flowers and high hopes and friends and clean thoughts clean clothes so he was remembering of those days he realized that what was wrong in his life his worthless days wrong desires dead hopes and lost power of mind then sopi finally decides to change his life by doing something worthwhile fine so finally sopi decided to go back to the man who sometimes ago had given him a job right children so this was a drastic change in him he decided to actually he decided to start a fresh from the next day okay so sopi felt a hand on his arm he looked quietly around into the broad space broad face of a cop what are you doing hanging around here nothing you think i believe that come along full of his new strength sopi began to argue and it is not wise to argue with a new york cop finally three months prison on blackwells island so see children this is the irony fine while why because uh, while sopi was lost in his thoughts imagining like a better uh, tomorrow just then a cop came and started questioning him as to what he was doing there right and when sopi told the uh, cop that he wasn't doing anything the cop refused to believe him and he put him into the prison on the blackwells island for the next 3 months when he was trying to be a true person a true human being only then the cop arrested him and sent him to blackwells island so this is the irony in the chapter right so this now this question might be coming in your mind that what is this irony okay so i am telling you what is irony beta irony is actually literary technique in which what is written or stated is different from or the opposite of what is expected you getting it right so uh, i am repeating it again like what is irony irony is literary technique in which what is written just focus on this okay what is written or stated is different from or opposite of what is expected okay you will understand from example example is here a fire station burns down right so this is unexpected why because one would assume the fire chief would keep his own building safe and here what is an example is here a fire situation station sorry burns down so this is the irony and then one more example is here the titanic ship was promoted as a 100% unsinkable ship but in 1912 it sunk on its very first voyage so this was the irony of titanic ship right that it sunk on its very first voyage so i hope you understand what is irony 
Okay. The moral of the lesson is although all of us do wrong things in life, there are times when we realize what we are doing is wrong. The important thing is to realize one's mistakes and make efforts to be somebody in the world as they say. Better late than never, ever. Right? So this was a chapter. Hope you like this chapter. Let's do some question answers based on this chapter, children. Who was Sopi? Sopi was a homeless and jobless man. So, why did approaching winter make Sopi feel restless? The thought of passing three cold months, right, of winter without a home made Sopi feel restless. What had been Sopi's winter home for five years? I hope you all understand it was Blackwell's Island, a prison house. Okay. And next question comes here. Sopi did his best to be on the wrong side of the law. But why? Sopi did his best. It is his here. Sopi did his best to be one on the wrong side of the law. To get arrested and to be sent to prison for the three cold winter months that were to come. This was his problem. What was Sopi's usual home? Sopi's usual home was a seat in a park. This we had seen in the picture also. Let's move to next question. What were Sopi's hope for the winter? Sopi did not have high hopes. Fine. He had no thought of sailing away on a ship. He was not thinking of southern skies or of Bay of Naples. He hoped to spend three months in the prison on Blackwell's Island. This was his only hope. Our next question, why did Sopi not like to go to his own persons? Sopi didn't want to go to his own persons because he thought that they would ask personal questions from him and he was not ready to answer all their questions about his life because he wanted his own personal freedom, his own freedom. That's why he chose Blackwell's Island. Why did Sopi like to go to prison? Sopi was a man of evil. He thought that a gentleman's own life was still his own life in prison. He considered the prison a better place than the houses of his own people. Therefore, he liked to go to the prison where he would get both food and shelter during the cold weather. Now let's check out the true false. First one is Sopi did not want to go to the prison. True or false? It's of course false. Sopi had been to prison several times. It's true. It was not possible for Sopi to survive in the city through the winter. Is it true or false? Again it is true. 
Zopi hated to answer questions of a personal nature. This is again true. Right? So Zopi did not want to go to the prison. That is false. And Zopi had been to prison several times. Yes, he had been to prison several times. It was not possible for Sopi to survive in the city through the winter. Yes, of course, again, this is also true. Let's find out the next one. Again, we have true false here. Sopi stole a man's umbrella. Yes, he stole. Though he didn't get success in that. The owner of the umbrella offered to give it to Sopi. Yes. True. The man had stolen the umbrella that was now Sopi's. Again, it's also true. We had read in our story. Sopi threw away the umbrella. Yes. He threw away the umbrella because he was not happy. He disappointed with that. A few uh, question, more question answers. First one question comes here. What are some of the signs of approaching winter referred to in the text? The sign of the approaching winter are the movement of birds to warm south. The woolen needed by people and dead leaves covering the ground. So these were some signs of approaching winter which were referred in the text. What was Sopi's first plan and why did it not work? First, let's see his first plan in the answer. He would go to eat to restaurant and would then tell them he had no money. They would immediately call a cop who would arrest him. But as soon as he put his foot inside the restaurant, the waiters blocked his entry. Thus, his first plan did not work. Suppose no cop came at the end. What would Sopi's life be like through the winter? Do you understand the question? Sopi, suppose no cop came at the end. What would Sopi's life be like through the winter? In case Sopi was not arrested and sent to prison, he would have started a new life. He might have taken up some job and lived like a normal gentleman. But through the winter, he might have faced the icy winds. Right? This we have observed in the end of the chapter. Question 4. Retell an episode in the story which is a good example of irony in a situation. Irony I explained in the slide. So, good example of irony in a situation. Sopi was keen to be sent to prison. For the three cold months, he made several attempts to get arrested, but none of his plan worked. And finally, when he decided to live a decent life honestly, he was arrested. Such an episode is ironical. Right? Now here comes our final question. We are supposed to write the character sketch of Sopi. Sopi was a homeless and jobless man. He needed a place to stay comfortably for three months during the approaching winter. 
he could get food and shelter at the houses of his known person but he did not like to answer their odd questions and lose his freedom so he was a gentleman and he was a man of ego and considered himself a gentleman he preferred to go to prison where he would follow the rules but live his own life he made many attempts to get arrested and his uh, luck failed at the restaurant he was thrown outside but was not handed over to the police he broke the glass of a window and stole an umbrella he was arrested only after he had determined to lead an honorable life right so this was again the irony of his life you may call it so here come finally your home assignment children you are supposed to write these four questions also in your notebook please note down these questions the first one is when did sophie have a change of heart and why and sophie preferred prison to freedom in winter why then the third question design a certificate and medal for a cop who does outstanding work you may find these policemen or cop near your house or near your place find three words to describe good police officers okay you need to write three words to describe good police officers okay so children hope you like the chapter hope you like the story and learned a lot from this story and we'll meet in your next class till then children stay happy stay safe stay healthy and stay home take care and have a nice day